All right. I'm so cheered up by that <laughs> that I'm going to read a funny one. It's, I think it's funny anyway. Um, I do have to just do a very brief intro. For one thing, there's an allusion to the movie Sleeper by Woody Allen. Uh, does anybody here know that movie? Okay, good. Uh, the, the allusion in it is to the orgasmatron, which is a, basically just a machine that you, you rub your hand on it and you feel like you're having an orgasm. Uh, that's all you need to know. Um, and I mean, if you want an orgasmatron, I'm sure there are stores in Dallas where you can get something like that. I don't know. Anyway, um, and the poem is also, this is important to know, it's spoken by a woman's best friend that's actually an apparatus of sorts. Um, do I get the picture? Yeah. Um, it's called Spare the Rod. <laughs> He's very jealous. <clears throat> oh, anyway, here it is. It's just absurd. Why would she cry your name? I love the girl. How dare you interfere? Your drab, dry wit and your hyena laugh. What can you see? It, what can she see in you? Bald, bespectacled, your stomach pushing out beneath your shirt as if you're smuggling someone's volleyball? You're quite the opposite of what she needs. You grope her with your clumsy, wrinkled hands the way a bum will root around for change beneath a Coke machine? So unlike me, I'm made for her. My sleek and perfect frame fulfills her fantasies. Dear enemy, I am the lover whom she hides from you. When you are gone, she pulls me to her thighs, and I can always find her secret spot without the fumbling that you put her through. Last night, purring against her, I was sure she loved me. What had been mechanical was rapturous, and I believed she'd come to understand that I could satisfy her every need. Our once forbidden love would be our pride. We'd snuggle on the couch, laughing at sleeper. And then when it was done, she'd whisper, you are my orgasmatron, <laughs> pulling me close. Soon I would meet her parents. While they'd be apprehensive, certainly, my charms would win at least her mother over. <laughs> I have a way with women, young or old. Our love was perfect. Then she cried your name. I longed to rise, but I could only growl, continue loving her, simply a toy she'd be ashamed to walk with down the street. I lie in darkness, drowsing on a bed of crumpled Kleenex, though I cannot cry. You've stolen her, and I am paralyzed. How I would pummel you about the face, choke you, if I could simply rise and walk. But I am doomed to lie in silence here until she reaches for me once again. Buried alive, I must concede defeat and bide my time until you're old and fat. When she's repulsed by you, for I'll remain as sleek and shiny as that blessed day. Her, fing her warm, thin fingers pried me from the plastic and fed me batteries to make me roar. Oh yes. One day we'll have a laugh at you. You'll be a joke then, a forgotten tool. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Holtz, thank you so much.